This recipe for Indian fish curry comes from All Recipes member Montu, who tells us, this recipe is inspired by my mother's Bengali fish recipe she used to make in India. Begin by making the marinade. Add two teaspoons of Dijon mustard to a large, shallow, non-metallic pan. along with a teaspoon of ground black pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of canola oil. Mix the marinade together. Add four white fish fillets to the marinade. You can use cod, mahi-mahi, sole, tilapia, or any white fish that's available. These are fillets of tilapia. Turn the fish over to coat evenly on all sides. Cover with plastic wrap and marinate the fish in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Meanwhile, coarsely chop one onion. and add it to a food processor. Add four cloves of garlic and a one inch piece of peeled ginger root. Add five cashew halves and pulse until these ingredients form into a paste. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Coarsely chop enough tomato to yield half a cup. Then, heat one tablespoon of canola oil in a large skillet over medium-low heat. Add the prepared paste and cook while stirring for one to two minutes. Then, add two teaspoons of cayenne pepper or to taste half a teaspoon of ground turmeric, one teaspoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of ground coriander, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of sugar. Cook and stir these spices for an additional five minutes. Stir in the chopped tomato and a quarter cup of vegetable broth. Next, arrange the fish fillets in a large baking dish, discarding any remaining marinade. Top the fish with the sauce. Cover the baking dish with foil. Bake the fish in the preheated oven for about 30 minutes until the fish flakes easily with a fork. While the fish is baking, chop a quarter cup of fresh cilantro and use it to garnish the fish. An All Recipes member who goes by amazing raves about this Indian fish curry. Yummy! The Dijon mustard combined with the Indian spices really gave the fish a tangy, complex flavor.